Yo, 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 this is Christian Madrid here on Madrid Videos with y'all. Next up, I'm going to tell y'all my 2023-2024 NFL predictions, yo, baby. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe to Madrid Videos, tell your family friends. Now, let's talk about the upcoming NFL season, yo. All right, y'all, let's get right to it. There's a lot to talk about. Let's start with the AFC, the AFC North specifically. So I have the Browns coming in fourth place at four and 13. I got the Steelers coming in third at eight and nine. I got the Ravens coming in second at nine and eight. And at first, I got the Bengals coming at 12 and five. It's pretty obvious. The Bengals are gonna rule this division for years to come. They're gonna be one of the best teams in football too. Joe Burr is one of the best quarterbacks in the league. And He's going to lead them deep in their playoffs. AFC South, Texans, they're going to be one of the worst teams in the league at 2-5. and five. Colts, they're going to be 5-12, and 12, another one of the worst teams in football, too. They're going to be third. And at second, the Titans, I think they're going to be decent. They're going to be 9-8. and eight. And then at first, the Jacksonville Jaguars, 10-7. and seven. You know, this division's not that good within itself, but the Jaguars are not a bad team. In the AFC East, I got the Patriots, 7-10, and 10, you know. They haven't really bounced back since Brady left, you know, and I don't see him doing that this year either. But in third, I got the Dolphins at 10-7. and seven. I think this young Dolphins team is quite promising, and I think they can be pretty good this season. And at second, this is a little bit of a hot take, but I had the Jets come in at second, and I think Aaron Rodgers is going to lead them to a 12-5 and five record. You know, I see a lot of promise. I think a lot of potential. I think Aaron Rodgers with the right, the right players and doing the right things, you know, I think he could really lead this team you know, to a really good season. And at first place, I have the Buffalo Bills. Of course, they're not going to be better than them because the Bills are just on another level of great. I think they're going to be 14-3 and three and be one of the best teams in the AFC. And I always predict this. I think they could possibly even go to the Super Bowl, at least deep in the playoffs, you know, but we'll get to that in a minute. But the Bills are going to be a very good team this season. And in the AFC West, I got the Raiders. They're going to be the worst team in football. Let's face it. <laughs> they got Jimmy G on their team. Come on now. I saw his jersey at a fucking Ross for 40 bucks. You like, this guy sucks. He's not going to lead him to shit. <laughs> they're going to be 0 and 17. That's an odd take, but I think they're going to be the worst team in recent memory. And at third, the Broncos, they are going to be 6 and 11. They're going to be mid. I mean, not that good, really. Russell Wilson. I don't see many hope for that. I think he's washed, personally. And at second, I think the Chargers are going to be pretty good. Someone who's not washed, Herbert. Well, he's going to lead into 11-6. and six. And at first place, of course, the, chance, the Kansas City Chiefs. Patrick Mahomes, baby, baby. One of the best QBs in the league. You know, 13-4. and four, They're going to be phenomenal once again. So those are my AFC predictions. Let's get to the NFC now, yo. All right, y'all, let's talk about the NFC now. So let's start with the NFC North. In fourth place, I got the Green Bay Packers. It's going to take them many years for them to recover from this Aaron Rodgers loss. You know, they have no hope this season. They're going to be absolute shit. They're going to be 3-14. and 14. And at third place, I got the Chicago Bears. They're not going to be much better anyways. They're going to be 6-11. and 11. At second place, I got the Detroit Lions. They'll be okay. They'll be mid. I see little problems, but not too much. They'll be 9-8. and eight. And in first place, we got the Vikings. They're going to be 11-6. and six. So th this division's going to be mid. It's going to be eh. You know, one of the, the least best divisions in football. And then we got the NFC South, which I think is the worst division in the NFC. At fourth, we got the Falcons at 5-12. and 12. The third place, I got the Panthers at 7-10. and 10. In second place, I got the Buccaneers at 8-9. and nine. I don't think they're going to recover from Brady retiring anytime soon. But they'll still be decent because they still have a strong offense. And... <coughs> First place, I got the New Orleans Saints. I actually think the Saints are going to do really good because they got Derek Carr. I think with the Raiders, Derek Carr, he didn't have shit. He had a horrible offensive line and really no one to pass to. But I think with the Saints, he's got a little bit better. You know, and I think they'll be 11 sits. I think with a with a better team, he can really do something with it. You know, and I think this, this season will show that. In the NFC East, at fourth place, I got the Washington Commanders. They're not that good. One of the most uninteresting teams in football. They're going to be 6-11. and 11. Not too much promise there. In third place, I got the New York Giants. They're going to be 9-8. and eight. Eh, They're not going to be that. They'll be mid, I guess. In second place, I got the Eagles. The Eagles are not slowing down anytime soon. I hate to say it, but they will be super good. They're going to be 12-5. and five. I'm, a little, I'm very scared. And at first place, I think the Dallas Cowboys are going to come out on top by one game. 
13 and 4 is just not biased, no biases at all. I am a Cowboys fan. But I think the Cowboys, we, we always do good in the regular season, you know. We don't have a problem with that. It's just the playoffs when we fuck up. But I think we'll barely beat them by one game. Probably come down to, like, the last game of the season where we beat them on a Sunday night football, win a division, we pop in the champagne, and then the story goes, we fucking lose in the playoffs. But I think for the division-wise, Cowboys will win. We'll be 13-4. It'll be a great season, Dak. We'll, we'll have a great season, I think, with the rest of the Cowboys. And in the NFC West... I have the Cardinals being in fourth, three and fourteen. They're not. They're gonna be shit. In third place, the Seahawks. I think they're gonna be a promising team. They're gonna be ten and seven. I think they did pretty good last year. I think they're gonna carry that momentum this year. In second place, I think last season the, the Rams just had a lot of injuries, and I think those players are coming back. So I think there is promise with them. I think last season was just a bump in the road. I think they're gonna be much better this season. I have hope in them. They'll be eleven and six in second place, and then first place. There's no denying that San Francisco 49ers will be in first place. This, I think it's, they're going to be the best team in football, the Niners. The Niners are really good. They have, you know, two or three strong, great quarterbacks. Whoever they decide to throw in there, Trey Lance or Brock Purdy, is going to lead them to deep in the playoffs, maybe even the Super Bowl. They're going to be great, the 49ers. This team ain't slowing down anytime soon. They're going to be 15-2. and two. I predict them to be the best team in football. So that is my NFC picks. Now let's go to the pl the playoff picks, yo. All right, let's get started with the playoff, my playoff prediction. So let's start with the AFC. The playoff bracket will be Bills in the first seed, Chiefs in the second seed, Bengals in the third seed, Jaguars fourth seed, Jets fifth seed, Chargers sixth seed, and Dolphins seventh seed. So in the wild card, it's going to be the Chiefs versus Dolphins, and the Chiefs are going to come out on top. And then it's going to be Bengals versus Chargers. Bengals are obviously going to come out on top. And then it's going to be the Jaguars and Jets. And I think the Jets will come out on top in this one. And then to the division round, it's going to be the Bills versus the Jets. And this is going to be a hot take. I think the Jets are going to beat the Bills. I think Aaron Rodgers got enough in him to beat that Bills team. And in the division round, it's going to be the Chiefs versus the Bengals. And I think the Bengals are going to come out on top this year. You know, and then in the AFC Championship. What the fuck? Sorry about that interruption, guys. I got a phone call from my mom. I forgot to do the dishes, so I had to get my ass downstairs to do the dishes. But anyways, back to the AFC Championship game. So, I had the Jets versus the Bengals. And I know this is kind of a hot take, but I think the Jets are going to beat the Bengals. I think they have it in them. I think if there's one season where Aaron Rodgers is going to take the Jets to the Super Bowl, it's going to be this season. This is like the only season he can do it at. And I think he's still in his prime. He still has got promise. He won an MVP like two seasons ago. So I still, I think he still got it in the tank with him. I think this offense is actually pretty good and decent. And the defense will do its job, of course. If Brady can do it with the Buccaneers, I think Aaron Rodgers can with the Jets. You know, I, I really do. I think the Jets are going to make the Super Bowl. So now in the NFC playoffs, I think in the first seed, it's going to be the Niners. Second seed, Cowboys. Third seed, Saints. Fourth seed, Vikings. Fifth seed, Eagles. Sixth seed, Rams and seven seed Seahawks. So in the wild card, it'll be Cowboys versus Seahawks. I think we'll beat the Seahawks. We won't have a problem with that. Dak will play a great game. And then in the wild card, the Saints versus the Rams. I think the uh, Rams will beat the Saints. I don't. I think their card's gonna lose first round. I think they're gonna be a good team, the Saints, but I don't think they're good enough to advance in the further rounds in the playoffs. And in the wild card, it's gonna be the Vikings versus the Eagles, and the Eagles are gonna smoke them. Yeah. <laughs> And in the division round, it's going to be the Niners versus the Rams. I think the Niners are going to beat the Rams. Yeah, the Niners are red hot in the playoffs, and then they're going to carry that. And the Cowboys versus Eagles, this is going to be another disappointment. I think the Cowboys are going to lose to the Eagles in the playoffs. I hate to say it as a Cowboy fan. You see, unbiased now, I think they're going to win a division, but they're going to lose to them in the playoffs, so it won't really matter. So, because as Cowboys, we always choke in the division round. For the past 25 or so years, we we been choking in the division round and I don't I don't think it's gonna be different as long as we have Dak it's gonna keep happening and it's really disappointing to say and there's a tear in my eye just for saying that uh, it's tough being a Cowboys fan sometimes anyways um in the NFC championship game it's gonna be the Niners versus the Eagles and I think the Niners gonna have no problem beating them get revenge for last season and it's gonna be the Niners versus the Jets in the Super Bowl the Niners are going to win the Super Bowl I think I think it's a no-brainer I'm surprised the Niners have not won a Super Bowl Ever since, you know, 1994 when they had Steve Young. I'm, I'm very surprised. And I think this year they break that streak. And the Niners win the Super Bowl against the Jets. I think they're going to even smoke them. It's going to be an exciting one, you know. So, Niners win the Super Bowl. Now let's get to the NFL award predictions. All right, y'all. Let's knock out these NFL award predictions real quick. So, I think the coach of the year 
is going to go to Kyle Shanahan of the 49ers. I think it's a no-brainer since I predict the Niners would be the best team in football and win the Super Bowl. I think it's only right to give him the Coach of the Year award. And the Comeback Player of the Year award, it's going to be Aaron Rodgers for the Jets because he didn't have that great of a season last season. But I think this year he's going to bounce back and lead the Jets to the Super Bowl. That's just, it's a really hot take. I know that's the biggest hot take I have in NFL this season, but I think it's going to come true. And the Defensive Player of the Year award, it's going to be TJ Watt of the Pittsburgh Steelers. He's, you know, been a terrific player on defense. I think he's going to carry that and be the best in the league this season. And the Offensive Player of the Year award might be a little bit of a hot take, but I think it's going to be C.D. Lamb of the Dallas Cowboys, you know. He's, he's a great player. He's a Dallas Cowboy. Why not give it to him? He's going to definitely show y'all motherfuckers wrong. And the MVP is going to go to Joe Burrow. Burrow. And this is his fourth season. And I think what better time than now to give him that award. And he's going to definitely earn it since I do predict him to go to the AFC Championships. And I predict him to be first place. I think this is a great time for Joe Burrow to show that he is an MVP player. You know, he's one of the best QBs in the league. And this season, he's going to prove that by winning the MVP of the whole damn league. All right, y'all. So those are my NFL predictions of the 2023-2024 NFL season. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe to Madrid videos. Tell your family friends. I'm out. Let's get it, yo. Thank you all so much for watching Madrid videos. Please subscribe.